Good morning. It is day 77 and we are just waking up and getting things moving. I hung up a line. Where is it? Right there in front of my tent. And I'm trying to dry up my socks a little bit more. We've got a pretty good breeze this morning. Last night I felt like trees were going to fall down all around me. It was so windy. I had a hard time falling asleep because I was sure a tree was going to fall. But <clears throat> I even thought we might have to pack up and move. But I eventually got some sleep. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm eating a turf builder for breakfast. I already did a little bit of stretching. My knee actually feels a little bit better today than it did yesterday. <coughs> Excuse me. And it looks like a beautiful day. Starting off sunny, blue skies. And uh, we've got uh, over a thousand, 3,000 foot climb today. And we're going to shoot for 18.5. So we got a lot of walking to do today. 7.40 and we're heading out. And the birds are chirping. And Got a full bottle of water to get us to the priest shelter. So that is a pretty well-known shelter on the Appalachian Trail, Appalachian Trail. And we're gonna get there and get some water. And then, like I said, we've got that big climb ahead of us. So looking forward to a good day. 18.5, here we come. We just arrived at the priest mountain shelter. And this is a shelter where people confess their sins. And there is the shelter, nice picnic table, and fire ring. They have a spring and a brand new privy here somewhere. I just went through the confessional bo uh, books and read some of them, put mine in there. And um, some of them are, uh, real I think and then some are just funny but it was interesting to watch uh to read them so hey we just ran into a easy ridge e. runner yep. easy what easy e easy e ridge runner here for the ATC yep. and so um can you tell us what you're doing what you do out here and yeah what so you're... we uh we're out here um maintain monitor and report the usage of the trail to uh you know to the trail clubs that actually come out here the volunteers that actually come out and maintain these sections um, so like right now we're in the, um, National Bridge, Natural Bridge, Appalachian Trail Club section. Um, so they own like a 90 mile stretch of this trail. So they're out here like every week. Uh, they have a Wednesday crew that comes out, um, and maintains this whole section. And so I patrol the trail and send up a report, basically let them know, you know, blowdowns, uh, you know, things that are wrong with the shelter, whatever it may be. Um, so that when they come out, they know exactly like things to target, what needs to you know happen, stuff like that. Right. Plus, the ATC likes all the analytical data, so they want like the, the they want all the numbers so that they can get the um, the funding from Congress and stuff like that, so they right. can better help the trail clubs and better maintain the trails. And are you responsible for a certain section of this, or do you like? Yeah. Does it change? Uh, no. So um, there's three ridge runners for the the state of Virginia that are employed by the ATC. Um, I'm the most northern section, so my I, I maintain from Rockfish Gap all the way down to south of the James River. So okay. about 90 to 100 miles or so. Wow. And how many days a week are you out here? So five five days on, two days off, give okay. or take. Uh, you know, depending on what's going on. Right. Like this week, uh, I'll be doing two overnight. Um, backpacking trips out on trail because I have to be in Waynesboro for the Hiker Fest on Saturday. Right. So that'll be kind of right in the middle. But and is this a year-long job or is it a seasonal? It's job? It's seasonal. Yeah, seasonal. So my so my season started seven weeks ago, uh, mm -hmm. like mid-April or so, and then um, I'll go through Labor Day. So about okay. the first week of September. Yeah. Awesome. How did you come about? Like, why did you want to do this, and how did you come about it? Well, I, uh, I did my through hike, uh, I had to split it up, but I, I did my through hike starting in 22 and I've been hiking different trails, uh, for, you know, five, six, seven years. And, um, the ATC posts all the trail jobs, uh, early in the season on their website. So they, they post all the availability 
and you apply just like any other job. But um, uh, getting certifications, so things like uh, wilderness first aid, uh, first responder, you know, CPR, um, leave no trace, all the like kind of backcountry certifications, stuff like mm -hmm. that, uh, will definitely help you or help anybody get a job in the backcountry, whether it be like Forest Service or you know National Park Service or, right. or ATC. Okay, and then the last question, what is the most rewarding part of your job? You know, just I, for me, it's out here meeting all the hikers because I love like hearing the stories. I love telling the stories, you know, uh, really just experiencing the, the, you know, trail culture and stuff like that. Right. Um, and, and just like kind of educating the hikers of like, because everybody, it is kind of my job to know where things are. And so right. it's super helpful for through hikers for their planning purposes and stuff like that, that I can right. just say like, hey, this is a good spot. This is a good spot. You know, water's running here, stuff like that. So it's just gotcha. like really helpful for the, awesome. for the hikers. Well, that's great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are on this huge decline from the priest shelter. Yeah. Let's have a little peek of these cliffs at this beautiful view. We're coming to the end of the decline off the Priest Mountain. And looks like there's a parking lot here. And then there should be a water um, source here. And then we start the climb up. I have to readjust my shoulders, my backpack, because my shoulders and my hip have been bothering me. And then I don't know if I'm walking different or not, but because of my knee, it's the ball of my foot is killing me. And I'm wondering if it's just because maybe I'm walking different. I'm trying not to, but I don't know. Here is suspension bridge number three. We just came down that long decline, descent. And now we're getting ready to do the 3,000 foot climb. Beautiful day out. Here I am in the bridge. We are on the incline, but right over the suspension bridge are some amazing campsites. So if you are planning on doing a through hike, that might be a good stopping spot. Had we known that, we might have planned differently. It was amazing. The water's right there, and a good place to sit and soak. Um, and then we saw a family coming over the bridge. There were a lot of them, <laughs> and uh, they're gonna go camping on the other, on the same. Once you cross the street, go over the suspension bridge. They went to the left. There's a campsite down there, but there's also one to the right, and that was pretty cool. I'll put the uh, mile marker on here. And, phew, we're climbing. But on the positives, let's see. We've been having a really good breeze. The climb isn't as steep as I thought it might be. So that's been good. And, I readjusted my backpack. I still feel the weight on my shoulders, but it's not hurting my hip. And we get to eat soon. The trail, as I share this, we're talking to the Ridge Runner and Cornelius and one other guy are gonna take a Blue Blaze. And it has some waterfalls on it. Cuts off about five miles of the AT and then meets back up at it but it's um there's some hand over foot uh, climbing climb up a side of a waterfall and all that would be beautiful and amazing except i don't know how my knee would handle it and today seems to be like a slow day for us so i don't know that this would be a great day to do that but hopefully Cornelius will tell us all about it because it sounds pretty amazing. But that's a blue blaze right after Preacher's Mountain. That's a long one. 
um, a little rat snake right here. Can you climb up on the side at all? Okay. He looks like you just got done eating and you are very, very long. Where's the end of you? He's down here, like wrapped around this. <laughs> oh my gosh. There is Harper's Creek Shelter. And it looks like the water is right there, which is awesome. This is lunch. Lunch break is over and we are headed back over the rocks and back on the trail. We have seven miles to get to our tent site for tonight. There isn't a water source there, so we can stop by the shelter and get our water that we need from there and then we need to cook dinner tonight because we are running in low energy today and it's because we just snacked for dinner I think but we got a big climb ahead of us another 2,000 feet 3.3 miles up and then 3.7 miles to our tent site the path right now crazy Scramble after scramble. Just came out to this big boulder and look at that view. It's beautiful. So I can come right back out here. Conquered Chimney Rock on the way up to three ridges. Now we have to go down the boulders. <laughs> just climbed up them. There's the white blaze. So here we go. We just summited three ridges. That was a tough climb. It wasn't so much because of the elevation as much as it was the rock scramble and just really staying alert. I felt like you could really get hurt if you tripped or fell. We saw a guy earlier going southbound. I don't know where he fell, but his legs were all bloody and I think his forehead. And uh, I asked him if he was okay. He goes, yep, just got to rub some dirt in it. So, but tons of rocks, tons of boulders. Some of the time I had to put my hands, my trucking poles on one hand and use my other hand to grab the rocks or a tree, but definitely you have to focus on every step and um, just be aware because if you lose your balance or you trip on a rock, um, which I do, um, it could be really dangerous. So we made it through that part. Now we have to start heading down. We have like three point four miles maybe to or 3.7 I think 3.7 miles to our campsite and we're going to stop at the shelter to get some water and it is 510 so it's been a long day and we uh we were tired we didn't eat lunch or dinner last night we just snacked because we had such a late lunch but we had lunch and I plan on having dinner and then tomorrow's gonna be like a 20 mile day. So uh, yeah, I don't know what it's gonna look like on the way down. I have a feeling we're gonna have some more of that rock scramble because it's on one side, it's gotta be on the other side, right? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I'm snot in here. So anyways, we accomplished it, we summited it, and now it's about getting to the campsite. Ooh, there's a nice one right here. There's a stealth site right there. Okay, like I said, I gotta focus. 
going through this beautiful flower area. We got mountain laurels, got some rhododendrons. Look at them all over the ground. We just made this point to climb up to Bee Mountain. It wasn't a long climb, but it was a steep climb. And I'm tired legs from a long day. We're gonna claim Bee Mountain as summited. <laughs> we made it to the shelter. We're gonna go get water. And then we have a point nine to our campsite to close out the day. It has been a long one. We have been hiking at 6.30 right now. We started at 7.40 this morning, and we still have another, a little short of a mile to go. So hopefully that means we'll sleep really well tonight. <laughs> Looks like the trail moving forward is uh, a little more forgiving. So maybe our feet will get a little bit of a break. They're a little tender from all those rocks. I made it to camp and it's all set up. 18.5. I'm eating another north side. Actually having dinner tonight. But I'm beat. I'm tired. My feet are sore. And the day is beautiful. And tomorrow's going to be a good day. So I'm just going to eat this up and then try to stretch a little bit more in my tent. I stretched before I put my tent up. Have my bear hang hung. And ran into tea time. So that was exciting. So anyways, I'm going to close out here. I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you in the morning. Ooh, this is going to hurt my legs. Oh, I can't put it there. Bye. Peace out. Let me, let me try that again. Bye. Peace out. I had my Dude. <laughs> Bye. Successful bear hang. Made it up there on the first try. I'm getting better at this. Can't always find the best lens, but I'm working at it.